Hey everyone guys, so today I will observe one of the coolest website builder services which is called UCAD. So actually it's really worth your time um, because with the help of this UCAD, anyone who wants to build a website, a landing page, a blog, uh, so everyone can do this without coding skills, without tech skills and you can do this just from 10 minutes till 2 hours, of course it depends on the projects, it depends on your time, yep, but it's very simple. The editor is user friendly, it's intuitive, it's simple, so that's why I decided to show you all how it works, uh, you kid, and maybe, who knows, you will create a cool website uh, with the help of this service. So check this video to all the end. As always, uh, I will left for you in the description a useful link and I'm waiting for your comments. Well, first of all, what what is good for it actually, UK app? Because it's uh, I would say that UK is a contemporary, convenient, and simple website builder. Uh, I would say which initially targets small and mid-sized businesses owners. So its feature set is powerful enough to come up to the needs of each user who has an intention to start an effectively managed professional project. Um, what matters most is that the website builder does not require any coding skills, as I told you, any web design skills to run quality projects. So basically, everyone can master its intuitive visual interface to be able to design projects out of ready-made widgets and content block, of course. So the website builder comes with an extensive collection of responsive, fully customizable designs tailor-made for specific commercial and non-commercial needs. So due to the integrated drag and drop functionality, it's possible to start projects of any complexity level without any coding proficiency at all. Yep, these are only some of the most obvious reasons that why I decided to make uh, this observant video about the UK. And of course, uh, I can say that based on the best samples of visual editors, UK provides a usual uh, it provides a user with an opportunity, you know, to design and appeal a website from scratch without any preparation stages in, I would say, from 10 minutes till 2 hours, yep, only. So this is the major benefit of the website builder. Any person can avail decent result when working with it. And of course, it has uh, many advantages. Uh, advantages are uh, actually, it is good for small businesses uh, and actually it has small business websites. It has. It is actually simple for new buyers in web design. Uh, no skills, design codings are required. It has multiple responsive industry-specific templates. Uh, we will observe them. Uh, E-commerce engine included. Drag and drop editor. Um, intuitive dashboard. Simple block and widget customization. So uh, these are key points that's why i decided to make observing video for you let's start so actually we have right now many many cool templates i would say you can do you can actually work with uh, the list of these templates you can check them how do they work uh, uh, their structure or if you need to find specific template for which will be like uh, uh, more, which will be more close to your specific field, where, uh, so you can check just right here, you have many structures, I would say, uh, many uh, themes, and uh, you can, uh, with the help of these types uh, of templates, find that one that will be appropriate, yep. Uh, animal cleaning, so let's check the preview, actually how it uh, looks like, and I, to be honest, adore um, each template, because because right here uh, in each template, the content is modern, colorful, brightful, and of course, uh, in high quality. Uh, and that that is important. Thing. Yep. Uh, so what can we do actually right here? Here we have the opportunity just to look what bottom yep will be. Yep. For me, it looks like this one, or maybe a left or purple one. Uh, so actually this is a uh, color scheme, but we have actually the menu, uh, first of all, uh, the main thing, uh, uh, while uh, observing each template, you need to understand is it similar for your structure, like you want to do this. Of course, with the help of the editor, you can delete some elements, replace some elements, but the main thing is there should be uh, the menu, the logo, I would say, um, 
the main section or block where will be CD bottom, uh, which we have right now. The after we have some icons, yep, of the section about. So uh, actually, it has not so many sections. So the last one is contact us, and actually that's all. So that's how it looks like on the desktop. Here we have the adaptive designs, and I adore them because we can uh, check them in horizontal way, in vertically, yep. So basically, that's how. Uh, uh, actually it shows us you could show us how it's possible yep and it's really nice so you may play around with all these things I would say yep and um okay so that's how it works and let's start uh, we will choose this design it's uh, actually right here we need to uh, put a domain name but it's right now and this stage of our work is not important so uh, you can go back after uh, after redesigning your template you will go back and to put your domain name and right now i uh, will actually work with the editor the key point of course is is of use because you know whatever action you intend to complete be it widget integration blog post creation domain name and others it will be very easy convenient you know you get it's logically divided into areas it divided into dashboard and a builder so uh actually uh you know, uh, the builder comes with a preview option, and actually, right here, we will work with uh, the um, with the builder. So uh, the builder lets you see all your changes in action immediately. So additionally, you can preview your work anytime by clicking preview bottom. Uh, yeah, when previewing your website, you can switch between different devices: desktop, tablet, and mobile. So this will give you realistic impression of what your site will look like across different devices. Yeah. Uh, the dashboard lets you manage your side main settings such as analytics, uh, statistics, uh, some promotions on the construction mode, yep, uh, and others. But today we will talk about the builder, of course. So first of all, this is actually blocks or sections and we can work with them directly click into some elements yeah or we will start from these things so on the left side actually we have main tools i would say yeah and what i can say um so our first bottom is responsible for side pages so actually uh, you can replace yeah this uh pages uh, you can navigate uh successfully if just work right here with these pages you can add pages yeah delete some uh, of them so basically uh, pages um, this is a button this is a tool this is a mode whatever so basically right here a user can complete various sections for the website pages such as adding new pages yeah remove existing ones change so just like here you can remove it yeah, but you can duplicate them, fill out meta tags. So basically, all key elements you add to the web pages can be additionally set up. So you can change inner block composition, choose visual design options, the number of the format of displayed elements in the background, of course. The next one is a builder, of course. Um, actually, right here we have many elements, such as text, which we can add, just simply drag right here. We can add image, just right here we can add a slider just <laughs> right here at this page so you can see that i simply drag some elements to uh the blog that i like yeah and that's how you need to work or you can delete them replace them so basically uh the editor drag and drop website builder uh actually you may use right here major website editing methods yep uh, some so basically users can complete major actions with the website elements of blogs by adding removing changing repositioning yep them and if you click only that's what I'm doing yep so the results you see directly right now immediately they are displayed in the online mode and of course design so basically design lets you change your website design Design, yep, uh, so you can change it. Uh, you can change color scheme, probably. You, you, I would say you may change the fonts, and actually, it works not only in one section, it works actually in all the template. Yep, so uh, right here, all the changes uh, they are 
uh, you you may see them not only in one section you may see them in one uh, in your website yep so uh, additionally it makes sense to mention an opportunity to activate uh, some effects for each image but it depends on you have uh, right here to add some filters images uh, it depends on uh, your desire of course yep my advice for you is that you have to work with the widgets of course widgets are functional elements that are added to the website pages by simply dragging so basically they are just right here widgets and you need to add them sort of many of them here just like completing product cards audio player google search live chat some social bars some bottoms call back uh call back uh order slider price list whatever because you know widgets makes a composition of your template better modern it makes it you know just tacky i would say i don't know for if you will use each element to create a perfect composition of your template it will look nice i assure you and actually that's why the I decided to make um, this observing video how you need to work with uh, this uh, service you kid of course and then the last one what I would love to talk with you guys is about the structure of a website so first of all there should be some basic elements what basic elements are this is a logo uh, the heating yep uh, the name of the pages should be so actually the menu section should be a uh, gallery just like some I would say um, some images yeah which you can add um, some widgets bottoms uh, like just like here yep these are basic elements for each website and landing page the next one should be like a structure yep so it should be all in chronological way yep so first of all should be menu section and logo the next one should be uh, like um, the main section or the main block or should be CDA or without a CDA but it should be the main block for example right here it should be in the main block yeah if you have an online store you need to show the products if you have a service you need to show just right here your services yeah so basically they are just right here you need to uh, represent in your uh you need to introduce your services uh, just right here on the website on your landing page yep uh so it should be some media what about media i mean some videos maybe your personal portfolio of the product or services yep music pictures images whatever but all these elements of course should be in high quality uh there should be of course a contact information don't forget about it uh contact information but here we have just not like contact information you need to you have two cases if you left your personal contact information or you ask uh, your visitor you have to left you uh, his or her own um, information so in case to uh, just make a call uh, for this person yeah and of course some social things I mean social icons there should be uh, if you have for example social accounts in Google Facebook um, I don't know where should be um, Instagram Pinterest uh, I don't know all social networks I mean yeah so it's very important and after if you would like to you may add some uh, other sections such as about the company or about your service your product some extra information if you have, would like to have a blog you may um, you may have create a page or which will be uh, uh, for uh, a blog for example yep so you need to think first of all where, what and where should be in your um, website yep in what position and after you uh, may try in UK to build your personal website or a landing page so actually this is the end of this observing tutorial video episode 
Thank you for your attention as always. I'm waiting for your comments. What do you think about my videos, first of all? What do you think about uh, this service you paid? Have you practiced in it or not? Or do you like this uh, service with uh, the help of, with my help, actually, what I, I do uh, tell you um, in this video episode? So thank you for your attention. I wish you good practice, good most good vibes with the UK and my YouTube channel. See ya in another video episode. Bye.